Israeli genocide propaganda gets off the hook a bit because it's usually in Hebrew. Most people who can speak Hebrew and who also, you know, speak another language to translate and disseminate it are Zionists. So no one's, you know, no one's really filtering it out to the rest of the world. But luckily, many of the colonizers of Palestine, many of these Zionists who moved there to colonize Palestine, you know, they're, they're Americans or from some other country, Britain, whatever. So, so for that reason, they end up making content for other, other colonists like them in English. And usually this content is like more measured because they are aware that more people could potentially be watching. But um, a couple of guys were nice enough to let the mask slip and tell everyone what they really think. And if, if this seems weird to you, remember that it's even worse because the, if this is what they're saying in English, then there's going to be a thousand other Hebrew language podcasts where they say this, but worse. If you gave me a button to just erase Gaza, every single living being in Gaza would no longer be living tomorrow, I would press it in a second. This is a clip. Thank you, TRT World, for your great editing from an Israeli podcast called Two Nice Jewish Boys. You see how they, they hide behind their Jewish identity like it's a shield? We're, we're two nice Jewish boys. We're allowed to say whatever the fuck we want. This, all the Palestinians are gone. You'd be like... children we're not advocating to target children but forgive us if we don't give a shit if you know everybody there dies you see american accented colonizers talking about how much they want to genocide children this is israel this is israeli this is zionism there's no fucking defending this and um his co-host is is a fucking netanyahu like direct netanyahu um associate as you can see didn't even realize that one. This is how Israel is. It's how it's always been. There's nothing new about this. What is new about it is that they just come out and say it in English. And yeah, this guy can say this shit and then just go back to the USA and hang out in New York or whatever, or wherever he's from. Like it's like nothing ever happened. If someone said the opposite or anything like, like even, even a, a million for that about Israel, they would be arrested at the airport and put into like a solitary confinement for the next 50 years. They'd be black bagged. This is the sort of, um, this is the colonialism that we, we deal with in the world today. Palestine and many other places in the rest of the world, this is the mentality. This mentality, supported by the US, everyone else of, you need to die so that we can replace you. You need to be gone because you hold no value. The only value that you have is the land that you're on and we want to take it from you. And it's nice of these guys to just outright say it, but make no mistake, this is what everyone else thinks as well. This is what everyone else advocates for. Though they try they generally try to advocate it through advocate for it through means that obscure what they really want. Biden, Harris, Trump, you know, random liberal Zionist YouTubers, Ben Shapiro, whoever the fuck else, every single person you could ever think about, any Zionist you could ever imagine, wants the same thing that these guys do. It is really that simple. They want the full and total victory of colonialism. And we, like, wherever you are, we are fighting this. We are fighting this. We are fighting people like this who think exactly the same as this, whether they say it or not. Whether they pretend, whether they, they where even many of those who frame themselves as like supporters of Palestine, when they are very obviously not, are in the end working towards this because this is what they support. This is what Israeli society is, and make no mistake, it's also what your society is, just with a nicer, nicer color of paint. At least for most of you. Americans, Australians, whatever, you are a you are consolidated Israelis. You are Israelis 50 years in the future. At least if they get what they want, you are what they will be 50 years in the future. I wonder how long it will take for Israelis to start doing land acknowledgements. We'll see. But once the land acknowledgements begin, that's when you know the settler colonialism has fully consolidated and basically won. We're not seeing them yet, so that means that they can still be defeated.